Hello everybody. Um, this is another Dub J 315s videos. Um, I really don't mind that he would mind me doing this. In the video on his channel, he shows you the seconds where he see things, where he sees things. I have repeatedly caught these things flying around the sun here. Um, you usually just point your camera up and then you see them wherever you are. Um, I've done it on my own footage. I've done it Robert Forsh's footage and Dub J315 has the same thing. Um, he sees them. You have to slow the footage down usually to see them. Um, sometimes you can see them at normal speed, but they, they kind of flicker. And, you know, you see an aeroplane with a trail, well, supposing aeroplane, because we don't know anymore, but an aeroplane's going past or something like that with a trail. So you get a general idea that these things maybe, I don't know, they're not maybe quite as big as an airliner, but you don't see the airliner. You only see the contrail, whereas you see these things. So I'm not sure how big they are. And, very often they look like orbs. I mean, maybe these are the stars. They do things all the time. Maybe they aid the sun. Who knows? And the other thing that's very interesting is the shape of the sun. And also, you know when you have these lens flares, which you can sort of see when on there moving, it's really strange. The clouds look like they go over the lens flare, which can't happen. But anyway, and just to say, um, a little bit of the footage I am going backwards and forwards on you'll see the clouds moving backwards and forwards because I wanted to make sure that you saw the little whatever they are see that's an aeroplane there do you see the aeroplane no you see the trail but you don't see the aeroplane but you see them without the trail and just uh, just something else I just wanted to add when I went to Denmark once because you don't often see them. Some people do, but most of us don't accept in our cameras. And I took this footage, and when I got home, I played it, and I saw this thing go whoosh. It was so fast that I had to slow it down by, like, I don't know, 20 times just to be able to see it properly. But as it came into the screen, you know when they go, like, the speed of sound, they get that plume of, sort of, steam around them? As this thing went whoosh through the air, it did the same thing. It had this plume of steam around it. And what I did was I sent it off to one of the channels, one of the big YouTube channels about UFOs, and they said it was an unidentified flying object. Um, I was very, well, I knew it was, because I'm, I, I, I just, it's so quickly in and out of shot, but there it was. I, I don't know where the video is now. This is uh, probably about six or seven years ago. But anyway, I never felt that they're outer space things. These things do go fast though, like in my video. But anyway, let's move on with this video and so you can see. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to play my breakdown of them and then you can watch it at full speed. Thank you very much to um, DubJ315.
I asked this channel if I could mirror this video. Yes, and thank you. Well, it is quite a good video. We've all been looking at the sky lately, haven't we? I think it's quite amazing, really. Um, I am just stopping this channel's video. Uh, they're supposed to be aeroplanes, but they don't really look like it at all. And in this video of his, they disappear twice while he's filming. These are supposed to be aeroplanes. They don't really look like aeroplanes, do they? Anyway, I'd like to say thank you very much to this channel for letting me mirror this. And um, what are those things in the sky? I have another video waiting to go out about them. Might have gone out, might have put this one out first. But um, let's continue with the video and the footage he took. <laughs> 